Hi guys and welcome to my kids. So today's recipe is kimchi. So kimchi is a Korean traditional side dish made from cabbage. I love kimchi and it's super easy, easy peasy to make it. All we're gonna need is Chinese cabbage, carrots, green onion, kohlrabi, sweet paprika, garlic, onions, ginger, pear, Korean red pepper powder, salt, sugar, soy sauce, and I'm gonna mix this veggie broth powder with some water and last but not least this rice flour let's get started So now we're gonna cut the onions, the ginger, paprika, the pear and the garlic and we're gonna mix it together to make the paste. The mixture is cold and looks like this. Give it a good stir. We mix everything together. So our paste is ready. It looks like this. So now we have to cut the spring onions, the carrots and the kohlrabi. So you guys, we have everything ready and here comes the fun part where we're gonna mix together all the ingredients and we're gonna put it in these glass containers. These containers are cleaned and sterilized, so this is very important that you don't contaminate your kimchi. After putting the kimchi in the container, keep it outside and I leave the kimchi at least 48 hours to be fermented and ready to eat. Here we have our gloves. We have the paste, we have the veggies, the kohlrabi, carrots and spring onions. Yummy. Gloves on and let's start. Very important is that paste covers all the veggies. Now that the paste covers all the veggies, we're gonna put it in the containers. So now we have the kimchi in the containers and ready. We're gonna close the lid. And very important, we're gonna shake it a little bit so Everything gonna be even. Ready? See you in two days. Ciao! Hi guys! So it's a week later. The first three days I open the lid every single day to let the air come out and in. It's better for the fermentation. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you more close up. We have a lot of bubbles and that means that the kimchi is ready and fermented but the longer you leave it the better so the longer like more time more bacteria so it's up to you if you want it stronger but after the three days you can eat it it's ready fermented to eat it we open the lid we leave the air in and out 
and we close it. This is the air coming out and also all these bubbles. We can taste it together and see how it tastes. With the clean fork, we're gonna take some kimchi out. Ready to try our kimchi. And let's try it. Mm. It's spicy. Very yummy. Mm. Still crunchy like the um, carrots. So you have both, you have parts of, from the cabbage that is uh, soft and the carrot and the radish are uh, crunchy. So I love that you have both consistencies there. It's really spicy but you can see how spicy you want to do it. So I believe it's like medium right now. And I also love to drink the sauce. So you guys, that's it with today's video. I hope you like it. Write me in the comments if you try the recipe and if you like it. You can find all the information and the recipe in the description box down below. Thank you for watching and until next time, ciao!